I'm driving the 2020 Ram 1500. It's an incredible truck. And today I'm driving south on PCH. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Heading out to Hollywood because MC Ken Bell and I are going to see Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Private screening at the El Capitan Theater. Pretty excited about that. I'm bringing you guys along with me. any spoilers for this movie because we don't well really want to spoil anything but it should be fantastic i'm expecting a an incredible conclusion to this series of movies but this is definitely not the end of star wars and we're doing all that in a 2020 ram is an absolute mess because last night they had the pre-screening, the premiere of Star Wars, so there was no place to park, so it's a bit of a mess out there. Ken's meeting me, uh, should be here momentarily. This whole place was filled with uh, cast and crew and the big premiere. Pretty exciting stuff. Let's see what's left over. can't tell, but this is Hollywood Boulevard right here. Uh, this is how big the, uh, the premiere was, and it was all uh, inside, right in the middle of the, uh, middle of the street. MC Ken is with me, uh, hanging out. Uh, this is Jimmy Kimmel right over here. What's up, Jimmy? Yep. Uh, going to see Star Wars, and uh, we are the second in line. Wow, that's pretty cool. Who's pretty good. first? You're not first uh, or last. A guy named Sean, uh, this guy Sean, he has a podcast. It's called uh, StarWarsFandalorians.com. Uh, you got to check out his podcast. That. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna, we got a couple hours, so we're going to go get some coffee and, yeah. and uh, uh, have a have a meeting about an upcoming car show you're doing. 
Yeah. Yep. June 13th. June 13th. Mark your calendars. Uh, Fountain Valley Car Show. Going to be epic. It's now officially MC Ken's show. It's going to be cool. Yeah. And uh, only going to get better. So uh, let's get some jokes, shall we? There you go. Star Wars, A uh, Rise of Skywalker. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Uh, incredible. <laughs> we just saw it at the El Capitan Theater. Uh, it comes out on Thursday in a couple of days, but we got a chance to see it. What uh, final thoughts for you? Uh, I wanted to see it again. Yeah. I mean, like, what, go back in there like a roller coaster. You know? Yeah. If there's a way to, uh, to walk out of it in one theater and then walk right back yeah. into it again. Um, uh, so much, so much to take in. Yeah, so much to take in because you only saw Star Wars, but it still was great for you because yeah. it, I still understood quite a bit, yeah. and uh, I want to go back and check out the rest all over again. Maybe we should sneak back in. We can. We tried that. We got in trouble. That's all right. That'll be another Star. We're still here. Uh, super amazing movie. Amazing movie. Yeah. Highly recommended. Uh, go see it, even if you haven't seen any of the Star Wars previous yeah. movies. It'll get you excited It'll about. It'll totally make sense. Yeah. It references all the way back to every episode yeah. and the ones I haven't seen. Yeah. The original too, which is really cool. Yeah. Now yeah. you got to go home on Disney Plus and watch the rest of them. So if I do a uh, binge watch, how long would that take? Longer time than you have. <laughs> you can work by. Okay, the amazing thing about Star Wars uh, and movies like this that take place in one universe, multiple films that take place in one universe, is the fact that there's so much to keep track of. There's so many levels, layers of things, that it's the kind of movie that you, ha you definitely have to go back and watch several times to be able to see all the different layers. You're gonna miss a lot of stuff. It goes by really fast. The quality is amazing. J.J. Abrams did a fantastic job directing it. There's some uh, spectacular shots. Production design is through the roof, costume design, everything is really top notch. But really the most fun about these kinds of movies is the fact that you do go back and you watch them multiple times. And, and even when you, when it comes home, it, gets, it comes on Netflix or on, on Disney Plus, you can stair step through it and you can see all these things in the background that it's just so layered. The, the time it took to put this thing together is extraordinary. The, the amount of things, little tiny things that are peppered throughout uh, is, is unbelievable to watch. Now, it's definitely a different kind of film. I, I'm not gonna give you any spoilers, so you're not gonna reveal as to who's what or what's going on necessarily. But it's in your best interest to watch the other films, uh, especially the last two, uh, The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens, so you have a better perspective as to what's going on in the film. From a design standpoint, which is really the way I tend to look at things from story and design, the movie is very successful. And I'll definitely be going back to see this movie several times just to be able to look at some of the fun stuff. All right, that's what I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Hope you're having a spectacular holiday season. And don't forget to join us on Art Talk every weekday morning at 8 a.m. on Facebook Live. My job is to turn you into a creative superhero. You may not necessarily be in Star Wars, but you got your own movie going on. And be sure to check out my new concept art website, fireballtim.artstation.com. It's very cool. See ya!